coming up, the Bahamas monitoring Haiti as today's election was postponed due to violent protests. And the government is ensuring that all stakeholders are informed about the National Health Insurance Plan. So don't you move. The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition, starts now. Now in HD. Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Everyday. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Topping the news tonight, the Bahamas is keeping a close eye on Haiti as today's election was derailed amidst protest. Foreign Affairs Minister the Honorable Fred Mitchell was in Haiti last week, and he says he was briefed by foreign stabilization teams there who were cautiously optimistic that elections would come off. But due to the increased level of violence, they were not able to proceed. Oprah Rhodes tells us tonight that the Foreign Affairs Minister says this is not good for the Bahamas which is already burdened with an illegal migration problem. Foreign Affairs Minister Fred Mitchell expressing serious concern about the deteriorating security situation in Haiti as protest continues in that impoverished nation. Demonstrators have taken to the streets in violent protest, vowing to keep up the pressure until President Michel Martelet resigns. The opposition feels this is the only way to have fair elections. Haiti was expected to hold its presidential runoff on Sunday, but the two-way race was put off indefinitely after the opposition candidate refused to participate, claiming the election was rigged. Martelly says the fraud claims are unfounded, but critics believe he unfairly favored his chosen successor, a banana exporter. Mitchell, who is in Ecuador for the CELAC summit, says the Bahamas continues to monitor events in Haiti with grave concern, as any instability in that country is not good for the Bahamas. Uh, this causes a serious concern because the reach of the government of Haiti or the state in the north of Haiti from which refugees come to the Bahamas or migrants that is come from the ba come to the Bahamas is already tentative and any further disorder in Port-au-Prince uh, does not bode well for the migrant issue uh, out of the north of Haiti. So our concern is very is a very serious one. Uh, we have to have a partner, a stable partner in, in Haiti to be able to negotiate with uh, and a government that can carry out its writ far and wide in the country. Now, Mitchell also says that they have been in touch with Bahamian officials in Haiti and he has been assured that they are safe. Uh, there is no need for a withdrawal at this time, although all embassy personnel have been asked to remain at home until uh, further notice. So that's the situation there. As Mitchell meets with members of the community of Latin America and Caribbean states, he says he will continue to work with CARICOM and others to support democracy in Haiti. I'm Ophel Roach, ZNS Network News. As we just heard, Mitchell is in Ecuador for the CELAC summit where he is leading the Bahamas delegation. The event brings together leaders from 33 countries who will focus on strengthening their regions. Uh, the summit is going to deal with sustainable development, leaving no one behind. And in particular, I would like the country to focus on the question of young males and the special work which the Ministry of Education is doing at the moment to deal with boys at risk and how they can be further integrated into the society to correct the problems of uh, social dysfunction and violence uh, which confronts the Bahamian society at the moment. The government is ensuring that it's getting the message out with regards to its comprehensive national health insurance program. The project will ensure adequate health care, health coverage rather, for all Bahamians. Yesterday, a number of health care providers attended a special informative symposium at the Paul Farkasen Center. Our Siesker Adderley has more. Some doctors and other stakeholders have criticized government's national health insurance plan, questioning the effectiveness of its rollout without, in their view, proper consultation. 
One area of concern has been capitation, which is the predetermined rate that would reimburse health care providers for rendered services. On Saturday, Minister of National Security and former Minister of Health, the Honorable Dr. Bernard Nottage, asked medical professionals to partner with the government on this very important initiative and not allow differences to hinder the country from progressing. We can't wait until we have a perfect environment to introduce the, 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 the system that we want to improve health care. What we have to do is plan properly, know what, it is, what the things are we need, and what we are trying to do now, phase it in. The public service needs reform. Princess Margaret Hospital needs reform. And we just have to agree on what those reforms should be. Permanent Secretary with Responsibility for NHI, Peter DeVoe Isaacs, is hoping that medical professionals will be able to come to an agreement, saying the role they will play in NHI's success is critical. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Glenn Benneby agreed. We are in this thing together, that we have to meet somewhere in the middle with the figures. Uh, I haven't met a physician in this conference who said he or she does not agree with universal health care. So we have that common objective. Every physician is looking at doing the best he or she can for the Bahamian people in the context of where he or she find themselves in the health care system. So we have uh, many more commonalities that bring us together than separate us. The Prime Minister has made it very, very, very clear that NHI will happen and uh, we need the doctors to make it happen. At the end of the day, officials are hoping to improve the quality of life for all Bahamians through NHI. C.S. Scatterly, ZNS Network News. And still to come, the Customs Department beginning its week of activities in church. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition.